So in this video, we're going to learn how to create our own license keys. We're going to learn how to generate them using our own algorithm. And we're going to learn how to verify our keys to check that they're valid. So here is what our program is going to look like. So whenever we run our program, it generates a key for us. And then it just prints out whether or not it's valid. Our license keys are really simple to generate. So here is our program here. So here is the template that we're going to use to generate a correct license key. So it's going to be made up of these chunks of characters. So there's five chunks of characters, each separated by a hyphen and a license key can contain letters and numbers. So to generate a license key, what we do is we run this generate function. So I've put it in a class called key, but all we do is we run this generate function. And what generate does is it uses this alphabet. So all of the keys are going to only contain characters out of this alphabet. And each key is 25 characters long if you include the hyphens. And what we do is we pick a random character out of our alphabet and we append that onto the key. We also keep track of the current chunk because every four characters we want to append on the hyphen which is how we end up with a key that's separated by hyphens to make it easier to read and then at the end of our function we end up with an extra hyphen so we just remove the last character of the key like that and after we've generated the key we're not going to be 100% sure that it's valid so what we do is we try to verify the key if it works then we just return the key otherwise we delete the key and we try again so the way we verify our key what we do is we check that the characters in the key add up to this number and we check that the number of check digits is equal to three so I'll start with the score first so the way we got the number for this score is from this template key over here so if we take all of the ASCII values of each of these characters so the letter a will be represented as a number so if i was to try this out and run the ord function in python that will give us the number that's used to represent a character so for example the character a will have the number 97 so what we did is we add 97 plus 97 plus 97 and we keep going the whole way across all of these characters and we end up with the number 1772 so when we generate the key the way we tell whether it's valid or not is we add up the number that represents every character in the key and we check if it equals 1772. What we also do is we use a check digit. So if I generate another key, our check digit is the first character of the key. So our check digit, all we do is we count the number of occurrences of our check digit. So for the key to be valid, we have to have three occurrences of the check digit. So if we look here, this key is valid because the check digit is three because that's the first character. Then we have another three here. And if we keep going through, we find our third three is here and we won't find any more threes in the rest of our string. If I was to run this again, now the check digit is the letter P. So if I keep going across here, you will see there's another P there and another P there. So we have three P's in this string. And if we add all of these characters together, it will equal the number 1772. That is how we tell a key is valid. And that's why our generate function might have to generate a couple of keys before it finds a correct one. What we do first is we pick a load of random characters, but by this point, we don't know if the check digit is gonna be correct. We don't know if the first character in the string occurs two more times in the rest of the string. So because we don't know that, what we do is we just keep running this until eventually we find a key with the correct number of digits. We can also increase the number of check digits, which will make our keys harder to generate. So if I was to increase this to the number five, that would mean we have to have five occurrences of the check digit in our key. So if I run this now, you can see it takes a lot longer to generate the key. In the previous examples, the key was generated pretty much instantly, but now the key took a lot longer. And if we count the number of fives, you can see we have the first five there, which is the check digit, the second five, the third five, fourth one, and the fifth one. And that is our valid key. And that's really all there is to our simple key generator. We could do advanced things like contact the internet to find out if it's a valid key or not, but this is a really simple implementation of a simple key generator. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Also, don't forget to check out the howcode.org website. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.